into the ranks. Every season, things grow worse. The machines grow bolder. I had to take over my brother's shift today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, he's off court in that noble girl. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment. Please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Stay busy, friend. Able-bodied! 
bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. Thrown in but I'm not choosy. Where else could This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If that bomb goes, maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Duval said he'd make a Bob watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable oh share of a lucrative opportunity? Shut up a bucket line! You like what I have for sale, I promise. I've got all the best goods here. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. So words. Would you like to buy something today? Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts.
must be where Derval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Derval did find a way into the palace. I could... I'll find a use for you. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the Mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Can we finish this? You're starting to irritate. God always have his lady. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravages. This isn't over yet. I've got a sun god to kill.
I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Why does a bomb? Why does a VOD always have It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Because there's more in the way! Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Majestic, murderous glint hawks. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Majestic, murderous glint no. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Murderous Flint Hawks! I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. 
Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to mainspring and chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Uh, no, I'm awake and alert. <sighs> Damn it. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha! It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh! That's a quality.
they're so loud. Yeah, you're an awesome one coming a mile away. I miss mainstream. Everyone needs a splash of color in their life. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. 
That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <sighs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Dervall. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. What do you think the Osirim will do to Derval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? They're heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. Well... I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. <laughs> Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Heat out here is more ancient than the old ones.
stocking up. That'll help. End. Not much farther now. Roland said he found an image of the woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Noraland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. <gasps> you! Spying through my focus again? <sighs> well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better, but be wary. Maker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Who is he, and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobeck. What kind of name is that? Be too prepared.
see them. They can't see you. George boys, find it! Saving these for the trail.
someone here? Jimmy, like let's take her down! came from Got you located
got a live one! Haven't you got anything better to do? Bet those traitorous Osaram will just conveniently lose Durval in the transport to Maze. Looks with me.